the TP-Link 300 megabits per second wireless and mini router and it is supposed to be able to create a Wi-Fi network wherever you travel. You can stream your Chromecast and Amazon Fire TV sticks. One of the reasons I like this one, we do have um, Google Chrome and Seb, I mean Chromecast. Okay, so let's open this. Okay, so we just opened up our box, the wireless mini travel router, the TP-Link. Um, I ordered it from Amazon. We're going to take a look in the box and see what we have. We have a user's guide in here, quick start. Um, not really an easy way to get that out, I guess. There's quick installation guide. Um, technical support information and uh, this is I'm sure going to be in multiple languages and mm, over 50 eyes in this print well okay, so I'm going to take this out of the box you can see the size there you notice this plug comes right out um, it can plug straight into the wall this will be your indicator light to let you know that it's working. Um, it has a WAN and a LAN port on it. Um, and also a teeny tiny little reset button there. Um, just in case you need to reset your router. We're going to try it out and see how it works. I would like to set it up with my home network. And um, get everything going so that all I have to do as I'll already have my uh, password and so forth. So all I'll have to do when I travel is plug in to the network or connect to their Wi-Fi, put in my password and be ready to go with a secure network. So let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is plug our router in. I mean our TP-Link. Okay, we got a solid light there. Let's see if it's going to find our... Alright, it looks like it's found our router. And because it's a flashing light. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my computer. See if I can sign that in. The new travel router is plugged in. And so I'm from my iPad, I'm going to select it as the network that I want to log on to. The Wi-Fi, oops, sorry, I hit the wrong one. Let's go with TP-Link. And previously you did not see, but the password popped up, uh, the, the thing to enter your password. And all I had to do was enter the password that is actually on the physical router itself. I just took a picture of the back of it but um, that's all I had to do and it connected so at this point I could go and set up my router so here if you can see that I went to tplinkwifi.net just like it said I'm gonna put in the pin and password which is just admin to start with before I change it I'm gonna take the shift off in the next box let's try this again and no I don't want to save her so now I can actually step through the quick setup okay so according to the instructions right now we just go ahead and click next to start the setup menu and you just follow um, the instructions accordingly for whatever it is that you're going to be doing and they're basically just the same um, there's only one place like in a drop-down box that you choose something different so as you can see it you are prompted to choose a working mode and if I scroll over 
um, the operation mode help is over there so you can determine which one you want no maybe repeater would be the best for me you'll have to determine by reading these which is the best for you um, I think I'm just gonna set it for home as a repeater and then when I connect in a hotel room I'll either do the same thing or set it as a hotspot router depending on what I'm doing. Just for sake of this I'm going to set it as a repeater so it'll just extend the signal in my house. So I'm going to pull it back over. I'm going to choose repeater and choose next. Okay I believe this is where we're going to set up our own information. So I'm going to click survey and see which uh, network show up is available. Okay, I'm going to be blurring this out, but I do see my network on there. But what you do is choose your um, network, or I guess if you were in a hotel room, you would choose the hotel network, and I'm gonna hit connect. So it connected to that network. It gives me the MAC address and everything that's on there. Okay, as you can see, there's a drop down box for you to choose the wireless security mode, um, no security, secure, or most secure. I am always going to leave that on WPA or WPA2 because the whole point in having this is to uh, try to make my connections secure when I travel. So I'm going to leave that like it is. I'm going to key in my password. This is not my password, as you can tell. But I'm going to pause here and erase it and put my real password. And then I will click Next. Okay, and I'm not really sure about this screen. Let me get that selection off. Um, when I read this, I really don't believe I want to change any of the settings. I did go all the way through with not changing the settings and it did not configure correctly. So I'm going to go back and correct my mistake. The beauty is it's very easy to set the modem back to its factory settings just by pressing, taking a pin and pressing in the reset button until the blue light flashes and then you can start all over. So that's the beauty of it. I did change it from smart, smart IP DCHP to static IP. And I also changed the DHCP server radio button at the bottom from disable to enable. And this time I had success. Congratulations, the basic internet wireless settings are finished. Please click the finish button and test your internet connection. If it's failed, please reboot your modem and wait two minutes or run the quick setup again. Reboot. And it is restarting. So I just wanted you to get to see it. Um, I may try it again with a uh, laptop so that I can screen capture. If so, you'll never see this. All in all, it turned out good. I was able to set it up as a repeater in my house and I'm going to try it this weekend, or not this weekend, next week, on a trip to Dallas for business. So we'll see how it does then.